so our in our next topic assets we are going to learn asset types right what are the different four different types of assets and what are the two activities that you have to use within the studio okay so once you know any question that comes around assets you should be able to answer it now let's look at what is an asset okay and where do you find that for that you have to go to your orchestrator and uh, whatever folder you might be having default folder or you know whatever folder you might have created get into that and each folder would have its own assets okay so it's folder specific not tenant specific tenant means overall it is applied to everything but here these are folder specifics okay so now um, what is an asset okay let's understand what is an asset so assets are actually four different types so what is an asset the definition of asset is it's a shared variable or credentials that can be used remember the word shared okay shared variable or credential that can be used in different automation projects okay so we need to have an example of what is an asset okay so there are actually four different type of asset one is a text asset boolean asset integer asset and the fourth one is the credential asset to store the credential values now you will say rakesh we can actually store everything in a variable right why we have to have an asset so remember when you have it in the asset let's say in the text asset i am going to store the url of a specific web page url of a specific web page so if the url in the future if there is any kind of a modification happens in the url right so that time i don't have to open my xaml file and update there i don't have to open the project and update anything inside it all i have to do i have to open the orchestra page go to that asset and make the changes so that is the benefit so let's see through one example okay and there are two different activities one is the get asset and the get credential asset so let's get a live demonstration of everything for that let's go to uapa studio and we will do one by one slowly but we need to have complete understanding of everything that we are doing so the very first activity what i will do uh, before we get create start uh, writing activities let's go to orchestrator we have to first create a web uh, asset okay so click on add asset click on create a new asset and here uh, let me go for acme website okay you can type your own thing acme website that's a link okay for that i'll be using a text asset out of all four i'll be using the text asset and here let me store the acme website link let me log out from this okay so this is the link let's copy this link and go to the orchestrator and simply paste it it doesn't require a double quote okay done and description you can put uh, this all things are not required leave as it is and i'm going to hit on click on create so what type of a asset i have created a text asset whose name is acme website underscore link so this is the name of the website now in your studio if i have to use that specific value uh, which activity i will go for there are two different activities one is get asset and the other one is get credential okay so i'll be going for get asset okay now when you will be using get asset get asset will be used when the asset type is text boolean or integer for this three types you will be always going for get asset and for credential type of asset you have to go for get credential activity so i am going to show you in this demonstration so get asset so now let's enter in the property panel i will enter the asset name okay so here within double quote you have to enter the asset name done now once it pulls the asset value where it should get stored the output variable okay so the output variable i am going to create output variable saying value okay so now two things uh, got created okay i did not control x create a variable paste it okay. all right so now get asset has been created after this let's say i have to 
open the browser so what would happen if I use this value the output value stored in this variable okay Acme website link so let's see this demonstration let me run it so what would happen it is going to fetch the value from the asset from the orchestrator this activity and then it is going to supply that value to this variable to the open browser activity okay so what happened now the Acme website got opened let's say in the Acme website it is asking me to enter the um, enter the uh, login username and password right did you see that it is asking for email and password so I have to use a credential asset so credential asset for that I will go to orchestrator add asset create a new asset and here um, let me use something like this acme underscore website underscore credential okay and here let me uh, select the type as credential okay so here let's enter the username I hope for a long time I did not use I hope that is the username <coughs> what is the password I hope so okay so let's see that if it is not working I have to come and change so it on create so what is happening I have created a asset which is a type of credential okay so I'll take the name of this let me try the password okay let me see if that is the right password so if you are doing it for the very first time you sign up okay you register yourself I think I had done it long back mm, okay that is working great okay I'm going to sign out from that so what I'm trying to do here I'll use the next activity called get credential okay get credential drag and drop this and here what I'm going to do I'm going to supply the always use the property okay here you might be slightly confused look, look at the property panel asset name is asking so what is the asset name within double code you have to paste the asset name sometimes this gives trouble while you copy paste so put it into a notepad and try that okay so this is my asset name fine and then the output has got two different things one is the password and the username okay now for the password um, I will create a variable first create a variable and then underscore I will say PWD enter and then click on ok and for the username I'll use the same value create variable underscore user underscore name so it has become a long long name it's okay hit on enter and click on okay okay so two variables has been created now look at the property of the variable that you have created so what is the property here if you see the username is a string and the uh, password is a secure string okay the credential password we're getting stored is a secure string great now let's use it okay so for that let me use a type into activity type into and in the type into activity let's point out to the website okay so there is a website you have to keep it in the background come back indicate and here it should type in the uh, username right so I will say Acme website username okay fine this is done now what is the next thing uh, you can also select couple of properties over here for example type into automatically um, empty the field okay I want to empty the field um, yeah that should be fine for the moment now let's use uh, the next activity will be type you have to type a secure password for that which activity you'll be using type secure text okay this is the activity that you should use so drag and drop it and let's indicate and then indicate the password field so type secure text okay this is the activity and here on the property look for the input where is the input so here I will use Acme uh, password click on ok done so two things has been done now the third thing will be you have to click right on the login page so click click and I'm going to indicate I'm going to indicate 
and then hit on the login page. So username, password and login. Three things has been done properly. Um, and here I like this motion type. I will keep it smooth so that will slowly move. Okay, we can see that. Okay, fine. So the automation has been designed. Now let's save it and uh, let's have a quick run. So let me close this page and let's run it. Okay, so let's see how uh, automatically it's going to. Now the values are not stored within your project. It is stored in the orchestrator asset. It's going to get the asset. So you can see it has got the value and it has opened the text asset. It has opened the web page. Then it will go back. Okay, it, it got the email address. Now it will also enter the password and then it should hit on login. Do you see how nicely it has moved the mouse and hit on login? So now finally I have logged in. So what are the key points that one should remember for the exam purpose? Okay. Now asset is a shared variable. Remember this or a credential. It could be a variable. I mean text, boolean, integer. These are the shared variables and credential is nothing but this one. Okay. And the credential asset type. Okay. That can be used in different automation projects. So it can be shared across different robots. If you have got multiple projects for the same client and the same application, then it can be shared across. And the best part is you can anytime go ahead and uh, change it if the web page changes or something happens. So it gives you easy access. Okay, that is one thing. Uh, next is credential. Credential is another asset type. So this credential asset type should be used only for your storing username and password for logging into any of the uh, websites or any of the applications where it requires a username and password. Okay, those fields it should be given, and they are very highly secure. Now the second point that you need to remember, there are two different activities, get asset at get credential. Get asset activity should be used to pull the values of text asset, boolean asset or the integer asset. Get credential should be used for the credential type of assets. Okay. So you saw a live demo. Now let me also point out to the UiPath documentation. So I will say UiPath uh, assets if you type. Uh, yeah. So this is the page okay about assets so this is the page where you can which you can refer just to get a clear understanding i have highlighted all the important points assets usually represent shared variable or credential that can be used in a different automation projects they allow you to store specific information so that the robot can easily access it okay important point additionally an extra level of security is provided as all asset of type credentials stored here are encrypted with the AES 26 uh, 256 algorithm. Okay, important points. The get asset and get credential activity is used in the studio to request information from orchestrator about a specific asset. Okay, uh, and there are four different types of assets text asset, boolean asset, integer asset, credential asset. Okay, contains username and password. This is it is not required to add quotation marks. That's what I told you during the demonstration. Okay. Now in the next um, video, we are going to get an example of a global value. Okay. Important thing. Let's learn global value in the next video. So let's jump on to our next video, guys. Thank you.